Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I'm Sarah, joining you here from my office at Not Another Hat, holding my hot cup of tea. My dear friend Tina gave me this. This is true. <laughs> I'm chilly. After as soon as we get off of this video, I'm going to run over and bump the heat up because it was cold this morning. Um, I'm ready for it, but I did not wear a warm enough sweater. What was I thinking? I have plenty of sweaters. Hi, Nydia. Oh, but bring on, bring on the fall chilly air. I'm so ready for it. Um, thank you, Lee. Yes, I do love this mug. One cannot have too many mugs in one's life. Correct? I'm sure you all agree. It's like knitting bags. <laughs> There's no such thing as too many. Um, sometimes it's hard to store too many though, but oh, I, I made this just too recently. <laughs> it's too hot to drink still. This is my plight all the time. I just, I, I intend to do it and I forget until a few minutes before. So um, how are you all? I hope you had great weekends. I did. <laughs> I can't remember what I did this weekend. Oh, my daughter came to visit. That's what I had did. How can I not remember that? Campbell came home for a night. It was so nice. Um, I mean, it's only been about a month, but still it was really, really great. And we just had a low key evening. Mallory went to her first homecoming dance and that was really cool it was cool that big sis was home for that so yeah it was really good and i did a lot of work on my mystery knit along my shawlography uh by stephen west and i'll show you that here in a second um it is very interesting of course i expected no less than interesting but um i don't know what i think about it i certainly enjoy making it absolutely um jury's out on the colors still for me like i like it i think it's really great then i do the next clue and i'm like mm. then i do the next one i'm like oh i like it and then so you know i've got a whole many more giant amount of stitches to make before i can really decide if i like it or not so um yes yay for kids who come home i know judy oh it's so weird it was that first visit and even though it's only been um just barely a month uh just it, you could tell it's that i that it threw me back to coming home for the first time when i was her age and it doesn't matter how that it was only just barely a month you could tell that that isn't her like main place anymore and she even said she said it's really nice to come home and it feels really good to sleep in my bed but i also really miss my my home, my bed, which means the the home she's created in her dorm room with her roommate, which that's, that's perfect, right? That's what you hope for is that they feel just as comfortable in the space they've created for themselves in their new life, um, out of sight of your house. So it was good. It was really good. Um, anyway, that's enough about that. Judy, you saw a second one. Uh, I mean, you start, sorry, started, Judy says she started her shawlography and then started a second one right away when she saw what the colors were doing. I know. Um, there's a great Facebook group that's like an unofficial shawlography Facebook group, and it's got lots of pictures. And so it's kind of nice to see other people's progress, if you don't mind the spoilers, just, you know, just so you can kind of see what's coming down the pike and where your colors are going to go. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll show you guys mine now. Okay. So please look away if you're not interested in a clue to um, spoiler for the shawlography project. Um, I'm not done with clue two, but I am halfway. I just finished my, um, my little triangles. So let me see if I can spread section of it out. I need to get on a longer needle here. Um, so clue one that I showed you last week, got the wedges, like the pie wedges and then the slip stitch stuff right here. And then there's my I cords. I love those. I think that's really really fun. And then I have this um, slip stitch section here. This is the part I don't love. I just don't, I don't love the green and the, the dark blue green and the orange together. Not my favorite. Um, and then I've got the deep mauve or, or wine color here for my little 
triangle welts. Um, so now I'm moving into stripes, I believe, of, of my beige and my multi. So, yeah. Jerry's out. <laughs> I do love all of the colors. And I mostly love them all together. Like, I really love this section, the stripey one with the slip stitches. It's just this section here, really, that's not got me super enthusiastic the orange and the dark blue green we'll see it'll probably be balanced by what's yet to come there's there's still a lot of yarn left in this bag that means there's a lot of knitting left to do on this shawl Ooh. okay um one second okay Stick around because we're going to do a giveaway at the end. I'm not going to forget. I just picked it up to put it in front of me right here. So I don't forget. Julia couldn't join us today. And so I don't have someone like buzzing to let me know, hey, you forgot to do the giveaway. <laughs> so um, I want to tell you all about something I just put on the website. Actually, maybe I can just screen share and make it a lot easier. Screen. Maybe. There we go. Chrome tab. Here we go. So check it out. We are going to do a really awesome book signing event with Michelle Bernstein. She's got a new book. It's called Brioche Knit Love. And we've got some pictures here of some of the projects. Look at that gorgeous scarf and mitt combo, uh, shawl, um, really cute triangle cowl. It could be a shawl. I can't see the whole picture. Um, this lovely scarf, etc. cetera. So um, we are going to host her on November 20th from, it's a Saturday from one to three, and she's going to be here to sign books. So you can, um, you can order your book to get signed. And then you can also sign up to attend our event. It's $5, which is refundable during the event. If you buy any yarn um, or materials to make one of the projects in the book. It's basically just kind of for us to plan because we're going to serve refreshments and um, for Michelle to plan, etc. So we know how many books to have on hand. So you can pre-order your book and you can sign up to come to the event. And uh, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Michelle is so sweet. Um, I've met her a few times. She's a Portland. She's an Oregonian. So um, I've met her a few times at industry stuff. And um, so it's really awesome that she's going to be here. And uh, I just blanked on what I was, something I was going to say about the book. Oh, she's bringing a trunk show. So she'll have some of the projects in the book on display so that you can see them in person. And there is a lot of really good press about this book that it's a really good brioche primer. So you can like learn the techniques and then also just knit all the way through from beginning to advanced kinds of projects. So definitely going to want to get your hands on this book. I love brioche. It's one of my favorite techniques. Um, uh, there's still something else. Oh, the other thing that we're going to do, <laughs> which we used, we did this with Marie's book signings too. And we hosted Marie with all of Knit's books is we create like a whole project sheet that tells you what yarns in the store are going to work for each project. So it's kind of like your shopping guide and it makes it really easy to come on in and pick out a project from the book. So, um, sign up for the book signing and it's five, it's just $5. It's refundable with a purchase on that day. And, um, yeah, we're really excited about it. And if you, Oh, I know this is the other thing I was going to say. If, if you live far away, as I know a lot of you do, um, you can sign up to buy the book and we will get your copy signed for you by Michelle that day when she's here and then ship it to you after the signing. So that's totally doable. Um, just, select shipping at checkout and we'll, we will hold your order until the signing, have Michelle sign it to you and then ship it out. So, um, yes, cause I know that not all of you can just pop into not another hat, um, on a whim. <laughs> so I think this is going to be really fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to it and to getting to see Michelle cause it's been years since I've seen her. So yeah. Uh, so that's on the website, brand new, right on the homepage. If you just go there, um, oh, you know what? I can play Julia and I can give you a link. Look at that. Boom. All right. Now there's a link in the comments too. So um, that takes you, that's got a little add on to the book signing event. So you can get the, put the book in your cart and the book signing at the same time right there on that link. So woohoo. Um, okay. I'm going to try it. <laughs> See if it's too hot. Mm, 
It's perfect. It's perfect. And it's Earl Grey. That totally hits the spot. <clears throat> okay. Should we do a giveaway? Of course we should do a giveaway. <laughs> okay, you guys, I still have two prizes left from the slow yarn crawl to give away. And I'm probably the slowest one in slow yarn crawl from the have a ball fall crawl to give away. I am the slowest shop, I'm sure, to give them away. But hey, why not string it out, right? Okay, so this is a great prize from Koigu. Thank you, Koigu. And there is a pattern for a hat that goes with this. And this is Jasmine, which is their DK. And this is like, okay, what I'm seeing on the screen is yellow. This is not yellow. This is like safety vest orange. Does my water bottle look yellow? Weird. It's like the same color as my water bottle. Huh. Anyways, it's really, really fun. Bright and poppy. Perfect for fall. Perfect for the hunters in your life. You got a hunter that needs a beanie. <laughs> so that is today's giveaway. So I'm going to do my little close my eyes and scroll. That only works like half the time because I end up scrolling off the screen. But I'm going to try to stay. I just need you to make a comment somewhere because I'm going to scroll up and down through all the comments. So if you've already made a comment, great. If you haven't, pop something in there real quick. Like, will I take a sip of my tea? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm reading all the comments, just sipping tea. Okay. Here we go. Um, lots of good comments. I can see the scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Stop. Jen Zoom Bomb. All right. I'm going to send this to you, lady. Here we go. Congratulations. I got your address. I don't need it. Um, yay, Jen. <laughs> The comment I stopped on was, I wish I could pop in. I know. Jen's in the Midwest. She can't just pop in. <laughs> so I am excited because Naomi, one of my Canadian customer friends, said that she was going to come down here to visit. And because the border is finally opening for, for land crossings. And in a cruel twist of fate, I'm going to be in Canada, in her area. <laughs> She's here. I am going to go to Banff with my husband for a conference that he has to attend. And yeah, we are going to be able to hook up in Canada, we think, uh, briefly, but before she comes to Oregon. But I just cannot believe she's been dying to get here for, you know, almost two years because of COVID. <laughs> and it's finally happening. And I'm not going to be here. We're going <laughs> to. And the fact that I'm going to be in her home area is just bonkers. But uh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Judy, you can't, can you select, Judy says the book pre-order adds a shipping charge. And can you select um, in-store pickup at checkout? I'm going to see if I can test it real quick. Like, um, one second, one second. So, yeah. Okay. So Judy, and just, this is actually a good thing for everybody. If you, especially on mobile. So uh, there's all those great express checkout methods like shop pay, PayPal, Google pay, those things. If you go straight to that without entering the checkout process um, or signing in, then it doesn't give you the in-store pickup option. So you have to go past the express checkout or log into your account and get one step further. And once you're there, you can select in-store pickup and still do express checkout. From there, you can continue to express checkout, like using your Apple Pay or whatever. Um, but it's like a step past. So they're trying to be so helpful offering this express checkout in the website, but you have to continue into the checkout process to get to in-store pickup. Does that make sense? It's, a, it's, an, it's annoying. <laughs> We deal with that a lot and we've tried to do various things. Um, like we don't want people to think they can't use those express checkout methods because I use them all the time on all kinds of websites. I know they are so convenient, 
but also sometimes you it misses that option for getting to the um, pickup in store for the for local people. So um, that should solve that. Yeah, um, I feel like I was going to say something else that was like, "Hey, FYI about the website." Who knows? <laughs> there's there's just not a lot going on up here sometimes. Well, folks, I'm going to let y'all go and get back to work. I'm editing some videos. Oh, I know. The yarn tastings are shipping this week. It'll be <laughs> later this week, but it's happening this week. Our last two things we're waiting for from Barocco shipped on Friday, and they're supposed to be here Thursday. And everything else is prepped and ready to go. Um, all of the boxes. Oh, I wish I could show you a picture right now of the boxes. Um they look so cool. They are jam packed full of stuff. They're all ready. I just got to plop in those two things into uh, all 75 boxes and then we're going to ship them out. So I'm really hoping UPS gets here in time Thursday that we can finish and ship Thursday. Um, but if UPS gets here late, they'll ship Friday morning. So those of you who've been patiently waiting for your yarn tastings, they are coming and the um, course materials will all go live. Uh, this weekend so that when you get your box, you can just pop into the virtual classroom and view all of the videos. So thank you for your patience. Um, hi, sister. Love you too. Uh, there's um, there's just so much good news. There's actually still three yarn tasting boxes left. I think it's three. So if you haven't ordered one, they are chock full of goodness. I'm really excited about the bonuses too this time. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to let you go and I'll see you guys on Friday. Okay, have a good week. Bye.